come monsoon magic abounds in the highlands of the western ghats parched earth meets a moisture laden sky to thunderous applause as life giving water quenches the earth the run of emerges as rivulets and streams filling ponds and tanks and finally feeding mighty rivers all of south india's major rivers kaveri vaigai periyar and tamire barani are born in the grasslands and shola forests of these highlands sholas are evergreen habitats with dense canopy damp forest floor and rich biodiversity Pambar Shola which descends from the popular hill town of Kodaikanal has in its own way contributed to the birth of the ancient Tamil civilization The Pambar Snake River that drops from these forests feeds the Vaigai River the lifeline of the Sangamira civilization The leaf litter and damp earth of the Shola forest are crawling with all kinds of life. The sweet voiced Shola kili is an ardent singer and quite unfazed by human company. Don't let its sweet voice and small size fool you. The Shola kili is quite the local bully. It hunts down prey much larger than it, like the young ones of the shield tail snake. The water, the water's edges, and the damp earth are a bustle of activity. Butterflies, damselflies, and dragonflies dart from one puddle to another in these wetlands. The clear waters of the Pambar stream offer good habitat. for splendid damsel flies the arrival of the female initiates a beautiful courtship ritual that plays out as a dance hovering over the gentle flowing water in another location in the forest a blue bearded bee eater feeds its chicks a hole excavated on the mud bank of a shola stream is its nest these masters of the sky hunt damsel and dragon flies and cicadas to feed themselves and the chick But what if the food itself is poisoned? For four decades, Pambar Shola has remained a silent victim to a deadly toxic insult. In 1983, a mercury thermometer factory that was shut down in America was brought to Kodaikanal by Pons India Limited, now Hindustan Unilever. Ecologically the factory site is part of the Pambar Shola where the factory ends the wildlife sanctuary begins In 2001 the factory was shut down for illegal and unsafe disposal of toxic mercury waste after former factory workers irate towns people and environmentalists marched to the factory gates outraged by the multinationals reckless behavior The company estimates that more than 1.3 tons of mercury was discharged into the Pambar Shola. To put that in perspective, just 1 gram of mercury, about the average amount in a fever thermometer deposited atmospherically over a 20-acre water body every year, is sufficient to make fish in the lake too toxic for consumption. Mercury is a potent neurotoxin. It builds up rapidly along the food chain. Top predators like human beings who sit atop the food chain end up receiving deadly doses of this toxin. Mercury exposed Unilever workers and their children suffered from kidney failure, dental, neurological disorders and brain damage. After 15 years of delay and denial, 593 workers won a massive settlement from Unilever for deaths and disease caused by mercury. That was only half the battle won. The factory grounds are still heavily contaminated with some places showing 50,000 times higher mercury than background levels. 
With every rain, this mercury gets washed out along with the soil into the Pambar Shola. Sediment samples taken from inside Pambar Shola have shown alarming levels of mercury. Mercury bioaccumulates and biomagnifies in the environment. Bioaccumulation occurs when an organism ingests mercury at a rate faster than it can excrete. Over time, the amount of residual mercury in that individual keeps growing. Biomagnification occurs when the concentration of the mercury increases as one moves up the food chain from prey to predator. Mercury in the soil and water affects every organism that lives in or off these media. Cicadas, Sholakili, Damselfly and the Blue Bearded Bee Eater. The sweet throated Sholakili lives off the soil. Unsuspecting Sholakilis forage the mercury tainted factory grounds for earthworms and cicadas. Cicada nymphs emerge to become cicadas after spending 2 and 17 years burrowed in the soil. If the soil is contaminated with mercury, the cicada stores up years worth of poison in its body. The shola kili which may consume a dozen cicadas in a good day's hunting will accumulate unhealthy levels of mercury over a period. The shola system is replete with deadly food chains like this one. Dragonflies and damselflies depend entirely on clean water, not just for insect prey but also to lay eggs and live out their early stages underwater. Their larvae are among the top predators of the river ecosystem, feeding on other insect larvae, tadpoles and even small fish. But in the jungle, the predator too becomes prey. In December 2020, Unilever began remediation of its contaminated site even before getting all legal approvals. As part of what it calls a cleanup, Unilever clear felled all trees from four acres of its site in January 2020. Now the contaminated soils are exposed to winds and intense rains of the highlands. Without the vegetative cover to hold the soil together, the rains now wash out even more soil bound mercury than before. From its first act of shutting down its factory in America and relocating it to Korekanal to the task of fixing cleanup standards, Unilever has applied double standards to India. Its cleanup ambition is so low that even after the so called remediation, there would be 20 times more mercury in the soil than would be permitted for human residential use in the UK or 66 times more than would be permitted in the Netherlands. Unilever is headquartered in these two countries. But what's safe for humans may be deadly for other life forms. Let's not forget that the Pamba Shola has life forms that are far more sensitive than human beings. Even after cleanup, the factory site will endanger shola killies and bee eaters that unsuspectingly hunt and feed their chicks with mercury loaded insects. Unilever claims that the mercury contamination is contained within its property, but studies indicate that its effects are felt far beyond the hills down in the Vaigai Plains. Fish samples taken from a pond in the plains fed by the palm bar had levels of mercury that would make it too dangerous for consumption by pregnant women. Not just pregnant women, Unilever's poisons are harming future generations by tainting mother bee eaters and sholakilis and their young. Unilever, a multi-billion dollar multinational that pretends to care for the environment, cannot be allowed to cut corners and hurt voiceless victims including birds, animals and unborn generations. This film is dedicated to the Sholakili, the bee eater and the future generations of all life forms, including humans.